I've seen some absolutely abhorrent TikTok cooking videos lately, and I don't know if these people are trolling or if they're dead serious or if they're just posting some criminal activity on TikTok. Genuine criminal activity. Like, peep this one. Now, I want you to keep in mind that they're cooking for their 65-year-old husband that just finished a 15-hour shift. And right off the bat, we're starting with some seasoned salt to a frozen Philly cheesesteak. If you don't understand how dangerous this is, one, look at how ridiculous it is just getting poured on there. Two, these frozen food, and she's adding more salt. And number two, these frozen foods have a bunch of sodium in them already. I found the exact one she's cooking, and this already has 890 milligrams of sodium. You know, lady, usually I put salt on my eggs, not egg on my salt. It's going to sound like he's eating sand when he takes a bite out of this shit. And of course, we have to add more salt with our salt. Yes, how could I ever forget the clam juice? Oh my god, listen to that noise, bro. You ever seen those cartoons when they pour like a drop of poison and out comes like a, a uh, like a skull and crossbones cloud? That's basically what this shit did. Bussing. That is not bussing. If you showed this to a Philadelphia resident, I promise you they'll chop your head off and sell your scalp for crack money. Now, why I say this cooking tutorial is criminal is because, remember, she's cooking this for her 65-year-old husband. She is definitely trying to kill this motherfucker. She is trying to get life insurance money. She's trying to give him a heart attack. I'm not even joking. You could actually probably use this video as evidence in the court of law. Look at this, bruh. They done made a chicken teeny with an egg in it. Can you believe that? That's kind of messed up when you think about it, trying to put the egg back in the mother like that. Come on, man. Get that egg out there. And then they're going to flip it over. You know, honestly, this might this might have some potential, depending on what we're doing with this, you know? And then they brought out the peanut butter. You completely lost me. This looks like we're making some kind of fried chicken with an egg in it with some kind of peanut batter. Any black people, I mean, experts on fried chicken in the comment section, let me know if this is actually bussing. Yeah, open it. Let's see. Is it good? Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. That is raw. That is no. What do you mean? Look, that is raw. Eat breakfast time with secret ingredients. The secret ingredient being ten-year-old bacon grease. Oh, and cocaine. Okay, we're starting this one off with some ground beef. I like the end, and you completely. You already lost me. This was two seconds into the video, and you like. We're going deeper now. What's up with motherfuckers and putting shit inside of other shit? What is this? What is this? Like, bro, imagine if you just took these ingredients and just donated them to a food bank instead of playing with your food for TikToks like this. It looks like it looks like a piece of turd that just doesn't have the Skittles digested. And then she's going to eat it. Okay, so we got some bologna in a blender. It looks like some mayonnaise or something. Bro. And then he puts the mustard on it. And then he eats it. Like, I'd be thinking some of these people would be trolling, but then they actually eat it, and they eat it with a straight face. Either these are some of the best actors I've ever seen, or we got some really autistic chefs out there. Did you know you can make mash out of Pringles? I bet you you can, but I bet you it doesn't Pringles. taste that good. Boil your sausage. And use that sausage water. Oh, that looks disgusting. Pringles. That looks like Drain baby barf. You have that mash. that looks also, like poop from a butt. I can't believe the mash tastes just like Pringles. Really? You can't believe that the Pringles mashed potatoes you just made taste like Pringles? You guys remember when they were washing chicken in bleach? I uh, don't mean to isolate any kind of people out there but let's just say they were heavily melanated and they decided to wash their chicken in bleach like i feel like i have to put a disclaimer on here so youtube doesn't take this video down like this is gonna fucking kill you don't do this the whole point of cooking the chicken is to kill the bacteria and anything to sterilize the chicken that you, it, don't bleach your chicken i don't know if this was some kind of like rage bait that people were doing to get interaction on tiktok don't bleach your chicken
Also, what is this guy doing here? The whole time I was yapping, this guy was just freeze-framed, just doing nothing here. Just a screenshot of a random black guy looking surprised. What are you doing here, bro? Bro looked like he got no job, nothing. He just here to react to the TikTok, and he ain't even do that right. Then we got this guy that's going to make eggs and hot dogs in a glove. And we can see here him putting all this stuff all up in there, and then he's going to boil it. Yeah, this guy said, fuck microplastics. We going macro. We going mega plastics. And to top it off, who wants to feel like they're eating a human hand? Like, cannibal LARPers, people pretending to be cannibals? Like, I feel like if I was eating food in the shape of a hand, it would make me kind of disgusted with myself. If you cook this for your child, that's how you're going to raise a future serial killer. Especially with the brain damage they're going to give them from the microplastics. When you're cooking for yourself that you would never make, like if somebody was coming over to your house, or if you were needing to feed somebody, but you eat this stuff and you genuinely enjoy it. Am I weird? Or do you think it sounds good and would you eat it? So here's what we're working with. It honestly looks worse than jail food and I ain't never seen it, but I bet it's bad. Um, we have tuna, mayo, hot sauce, mustard, some black pepper, a jalapeno, and some cheese. Like, is it dog food? Is it cat food? I think it looks like a tuna casserole. Like, I don't know why you're trying to be all quirky and, oh, this is so gross. It's not, it's, this was, out of everything, this is the most normal looking food I've seen today. Peeps, first up, peanut butter, cherries, yum. Second up, Tabasco, pineapple. Hey, yo, who, whose auntie is this, bro? Yum. What? Next up, pretzels and jam. Whose auntie is this, dog? Get her off TikTok, bro. Chocolate. You know when the bottle of mayonnaise makes that hollow noise that you've just poured a third of a bottle on that shit? This chick has to buy a new bottle of mayonnaise every time she wants to make a sandwich. Also, while she's crinkling these chips, I just realized no plate or nothing. We just raw dog in the sandwich making on the counter. And the, the best part, you know, I love it when we add deli meat to my mayonnaise sandwich. And then, you know, you put it on top and just, yeah, just smear that mayonnaise all over the countertop. You know, perfect. Cut it in half with all that shit spilling out. She got the infinity necklace, which could either mean the amount of mayonnaise she puts on is infinity or the amount of chins she's going to have is infinity. Yeah, yeah, pick it up and then you eat that shit, you nasty ass bitch. Eat that shit. Ugh. You nasty ass nigga. And you know what you do after that bitch? You eat that motherfucker, you fat ass nigga. You nasty neck ass nigga. Oh, what it is? You don't tell me with the cock. <laughs> if you guys want to help me with videos like this, I usually post on my Instagram story asking for clips for the video topic, so uh, you guys can follow me here. Why is bro smacking the meat like that, bro? Oh my. Yo, is this even a loud dog? And then bro goes right back to just slicing up the avocado and the peppers, but you cannot just skip over that. You molested that meat.